Eminem's history with Moby has linked him to what's going on between Moby and Natalie Portman at the moment, and here's some background information on what happened before we dive right in, establish Eminem's connection and finally state my opinion on the matter. In Moby's new memoir, Then It Fell Apart, Moby claims that he had a relationship with Natalie Portman, and the relationship between them started after a show he had in 2001. I'm quoting from his memoir. I was a bored binge drinker, and Natalie Portman was a beautiful movie star, but here she was in my dressing room flirting with me. However, in an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Natalie Portman denied dating Moby, and I'm quoting her here. I was surprised to hear that he characterized the very short time that I knew him as Dayton, because my recollection is a much older man being creepy with me when I just had graduated high school. He said I was 20, I definitely wasn't. I was a teenager, I had just turned 18. That he used this story to sell his book was very disturbing to me. She also elaborated on how they met. I was a fan and went on one of his shows when I had just graduated. He was on tour and I was working shooting a film. So we only hung out a handful of times before I realized that this was an older man who was interested in me in a way that felt inappropriate. Moby clapped back on Instagram to Portman's claims with a brief essay explaining his position and ended it with this. I completely respect Natalie's possible regret in dating me. To be fair, I would probably regret dating me too. But it doesn't alter the actual facts of our brief romantic history. Well, you might be asking, what does this have to do with Eminem? And older Eminem fans will understand this. In the early 2000s, Eminem and Moby had a beef, and on Eminem's smash hit Without Me, this is what Eminem had to say about Moby. Because of the beef between Em and Moby, fans on Twitter started going back in time. According to this user, Eminem cancelled Moby in 2002. Even the OG Stan had something to say about this, he tweeted. I however did date Moby, he was a big Eminem fan, love me in Stan. Apparently Eminem was also mentioned in Moby's memoir, as you can see from this tweet. Apparently, Moby said in his book that during the VMAs, Eminem turned around and gave him a drawing he made of him killing Moby, I'm in tears. Now I can't verify that since I didn't read the book. But if this is true, then Eminem's savagery and trolling hit heights that we didn't even know about all these years. Another one here, Eminem was right about Moby. But personally, I kind of feel bad for Moby because just like he said, he'd probably regret dating himself. And since he doesn't look like the Brad Pitts of Hollywood, I can see why he's been called a creep. Creep at this point has been reserved for men that women don't find attractive. And the fact that he posted this photo to prove his point didn't help matters. Many tweets about this suggest that he basically posted proof that he was a creep, but I'm sure it wouldn't have been creepy if he had the Hollywood handsome standard. Just like someone said on Twitter, Eminem with his predictions is becoming the rap version of The Simpsons. But Eminem's beef with Moby was never personal. According to Eminem, he just didn't like techno music and didn't care about how good Moby was, because the techno genre wasn't for him. Eminem said techno music used to blow his high when he used drugs, and the effects of the music on him was even worse when he wasn't high. What are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't, and see you in the next video.